Good Tuesday, everybody. I hope you had a nice Monday. Uh, welcome back to another Comp Tip Tuesday. We're doing a little bit, something a little bit different. Something that's kind of, it's going to be a good one, I think. Compared to, to the other ones, I know that uh, at least some of those videos might have been more for beginners. I think this one is going to, you know, help everyone. It's just a little tip. We're talking about this sort of weird uh circular distortion in the bokeh in the background do you see it it's it's very obvious uh in this uh photo even though it is very low resolution uh, another example is for example this here you can see the bokeh kind of shearing off to the left and it's doing the same at the top it's it's making this sort of spherical distortion over the whole background this usually just happens when you have uh, a subject very close and and there's a lot of uh, defocus in the background with certain lenses sometimes it is it's there sometimes it's not i don't know uh, but what you want to do obviously when something like this happens you want to match it but also if you have a green screen shot uh, and you have to put in the background then maybe sometimes it would be nice to add a little bit of this this uh what you call it irregularity to really just kind of make your shots feel less flat and more organic. Kind of cool, right? Uh, so the way I used to do this, I I, I did it this way. Uh, let's see, so here you have a volcano shot, very nice. I used to just kind of undistort the whole plate, like just kind of randomly put in like a random uh, parameter and then defocus it. Let me expose this up a little bit. And then just redistort it with the same amount. This is obviously not ideal. First off, it's very heavy. So, uh, but you do get a quite nice effect here. You, it's kind of what we want, but it's very heavy. And also you're, you're distorting everything that can't be good for the quality of your picture. There has to be, you know, there's all these filters going on. So, um, yeah, that looks kind of, kind of what we want. And it's kind of cool, but. Uh, I worked with uh, Mike at Framestore like a year ago and I remembered he did the same thing on a shot and I was like, hey, I sent him a message via LinkedIn and said, hey, how did you do this? Turns out they now work this into a node made by a Dutchman as well. So uh, uh, let me let me show you where it's at. Oh, it's Magic Defocus. If you've never used this, maybe you have used it, but you've never seen the option. So it's up there in the non this uh, non uniform. You can enable the cat's eye. See that? So that makes it pretty sweet. And then uh, also it kind of cuts off like this. And you can also enable barn doors, which will cut off sort of the sides, the very sides here. And it looks a lot better, in my opinion, than my old method. And it's faster and it's easier. It's all built into the node. I just kind of wanted to let you know that this exists because if you compare this to the, if I just normally defocused it, so I do have a filter plugged in here. This is the filter. Just to add a little bit of that, you know, chef sauce. Um, and just compare this. So there is a, there is an anamorphic aspect ratio in the bokeh, as you can see. But to compare it with the magic defocus, that is a lot nicer. Here's uh, <laughs> here's one with uh, with my expertly drawn subject in the front. By the way, I did have fine art classes uh, at uni, if you can tell. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so the difference, this is the one with cat eyes. With the normal ZD focus, it adds a lot to your shot, I think, and a lot of people don't know that it exists, including me. I I barely, I never really use this, but it's it's because it's not standard in Nuke. Nuke doesn't even, you know, have it somewhere in the options in their ZD focus or their D focus nodes. Here's another example. So here's with my old method, where where I just distort the whole plate. There we got our guy again, and this is then. With the normal CD focus. So that's nice. But then here is the cat eye magic D focus. So it's it's a lot more uh what do you what do you how do you how, how do we say this? It's a lot 
it's it's yeah it's just nicer it, especially at the at the top here it bends it bends better than my old method um what else do we have what else do we have we so we can put in and put in a uh, filter kind of always try to do that that's just adds that little detail and uh yeah you got the barn doors there's one more thing i want to i want to show you by the way it's just a neat little extra trick this is a bonus uh, so if you notice here, I've got a great node expression linked to this one. And this is to boost, boost the bokehs. So what you do is you just create a great node. You can create another great node and then open them both. And then the top one, you want to copy, uh, copy the gamma over. And then in this expression, open the expression. And there you go one divided by that expression and then this this gamma you move down and this one will move up kind of the, the opposite it will kind of reset so then place one before the magic defocus or whatever z defocus you're using and that will gamma down basically and then the second one you put below there below the defocus and then if i enable uh disable both of them you can see the difference it just boosts the bokeh defocus just a neat little trick uh and uh i think that's it i think this can become this is very useful to just know you know sometimes you have these these very macro type looking shots and you want to if you want to add it in a grain or uh, sorry grain rain or whatever you want to also obviously add sort of the cat eye effect that's also over the entire image makes sense but also if you just want to like beautify a shot and you think hey this this shot needs a little bit of that chef sauce you know this needs a little this is, this is the glaze of a spare rib basically it's just that little bit chef's kiss you know so that's it uh have a great tuesday and the rest of your week bye, -bye.